coroner showed me surveillance video of the entire thing, which lasted mere seconds. We can't show it due to the ongoing investigation, but we can show you the bullet holes left behind. Walk into the Fade King's barber shop near 29th and Q. You wouldn't guess that the previous day, this business was a crime scene. When he shot the shotgun, it missed by this much. But look closely and you'll see the damage left behind after the shop's owners say an attempted robbery turned into a shooting. It, it went so fast, so, so, so fast. Seconds between when David and Jesse Govan say the suspect came into their shop and the bullets started flying. It happened just before 10 Friday morning. The Govan brothers tell me they were each working with a client when this man, 23-year-old Lucas Ortiz, armed with a shotgun, dropped a backpack on the ground and said, empty your pockets. And when he cocked the thing on my face, to me and my uh, customer, that's when I know, hey, he's not playing. And then I kind of looked at my brother and I threw the wallet on the floor. And then my brother already knew what to do next. Jesse, a registered gun owner, keeps his weapon close. So I told him, uh, put, gun, put the gun down or gun down and... Uh, you know, I had I was pointing my gun at him, and uh, he just shot shot at me. The bullet whizzing by within an arm's length, hitting the mirror over Jesse's head. If he had uh, just regular, you know, ammunition like uh, pellets, it, it would have uh, hit my customer and it would hit me. Jesse says he fired back multiple times, hitting Ortiz, who crawled back outside. All of this captured on surveillance. The brothers say they're thankful nobody else was hurt. My baby, my, my three-year-old was upstairs, and my wife was upstairs right on top of where he was shooting, washing the dishes. Me and my brother already had a game plan all the time with the you know, robberies because they've been robbing all this street right here. And if you're a business owner, the Govins say you should have a plan too. We're happy to be here, you know. We're here to do our job, you know, that's all.